So we're going to start with NC Fund, NC Funder. <laughs> Funder. We are dedicated to bridging the gap and accessing growth capital for small businesses in North Carolina. Small businesses have always had a, a hard time accessing growth capital. This isn't anything new. They're turned down at higher rates they, for a lot of different reasons. They pay more money, um, more uh, higher interest than other borrowers for the same sorts of terms. And, and when they are able to get financing, uh, the terms are n never as good or as seamless as for uh, larger enterprises. And right now, we're seeing that same dynamic that's existed for several years repeating in the um, market for crowdfunding. Um, in the last few years, the idea of crowdfunding has really taken hold, but it has failed to have those um, transformative changes in the market that we thought it might. That's because the market is missing some tools. Those tools are automated legal operations and data integration. When you combine those two things together, it unlocks small business finance so that they can both uh, automate their processes, save money, and then capture their value proposition for growth. Now, there's a whole lot of market data that says that these things are the missing link. I know these are the missing link from my past life practicing law for 18 years in North Carolina representing businesses from Main Street all the way up to capital markets. Over the course of, well, I graduated law school about five min minutes before um, digital signatures and digital commerce became a real thing. So over the course of my career, um, technology completely transformed both the practice of law and the value proposition of my clients who moved in capital markets. But all of the rest of my clients were not able to take advantage of those uh, great things that happened. Um, and everything costs them the same, they face um, tremendous barriers to access the capital. And this is not just a few folks on Main Street we're talking about. Um, out of all the global commercial actors, 80% of them are small to medium enterprise. That is, they employ fewer than 500 employees. Out of that 80%, 80% have manifest, demonstrable, um, uh, unmet need for access to capital. That amount is $2.1 trillion, according to Kenzie, McKinsey and a, a lot of other um, uh, market data. Now, in North Carolina, that spells half, uh, that spells a million employers and half of the workers working for this kind of company that has inadequate access to capital. So the market is quite huge. What NC Funder is going to do is operate a North Carolina funding portal that is backed by automated legal and financial technology, the kind that we're able to use in capital markets but hasn't trickled down here to the moms and pops. Uh, in order to make uh, costs as inexpensive as possible, we will uh, leverage blockchain technology. In my day job, I now design um, smart contracts running on blockchains. So we actually have um, institutional knowledge how to do this in our company. Um, and the outcome is going to be an open source, think about it like this, the combination of market making innovations we've seen in the past couple of years. Safes made it so that we had more and more people that we could invest in. Digital assets, legal compliance, and liquidity have grown with technology. NC Funder is bringing those to Main Street. Operations on NC Funder will be free for basic crowdfunding, but compliance and value-add services will co cause either a fear for subscription, and then we will scale by <coughs> unbundling and opening up the market to those value-add services that become needed as the market matures. We'll also be able to create new value-added solutions, and scale through jurisdictions. 
Crowdfunding is, co is competitive, but NC Funder is going to serve the competitive market as well by bringing down the compliance costs for everyone and giving everyone in the crowdfunding ecosystem a better way to harness and mo monetize their data assets. So now we'll open it up to Q&A for the judges. If you have any questions for them, uh, you have a chance to ask. I have a quick question. Yes, so thank you very much. Um, who do you see as your typical investor or the person who would make contributions to the in the crowdfunding model that you mentioned? Uh, well, there are two basic kinds of companies that we will be featuring in the crowdfunding portal. And the first are Main Street mom and pops, you know, pizza shops, yoga studios, uh, small manufacturers. Um, the kinds of companies that when you can conduct crowdfunding, not only are you reaching investors, but you're also reaching their customers so that you're getting a virtuous cycle of growth. The other companies will be looking to promote an NC funder and recruit are those companies that are seeking to take advantage of innovative business models that take advantage of our network technology. considering that you are dealing with legally binding instruments uh, because that, that can be really serious, especially when you're talking about automating those things. Absolutely. Uh, we've been thinking about this for a long time. So if, um, our repo is linked um, on uh, our slide deck. But So what we are doing is gathering these legal contracts in prose, making sure they're machine-readable, parameterized for smart contracts. At the same time, North Carolina prescribes the risk mitigation uh, procedures you have to go into for automated legal forms um, in our unauthorized practice of law statute. We'll conform to that. So could you describe a little bit your go market strategy? And how do you actually implement this? How do you get your first customer? Uh, well, we've been doing that. I've been doing that for about two years. <laughs> um, it's a minimum viable community that we need in order to bring these, these solutions to market. So I've been talking to market makers about how this technology is going to ripen and change their world for a long time. I've already recruited a lot of people and have a lot of people ready to go. So I have a question about the uh, Uh, two ways. Uh, the Secretary of State's web portal uh, is actually um, for for legal technology. It, it, while it it's a beacon, right? So we're taking advantage of that as much as possible. Also, all the blockchain operations that we are developing came from open source software. Everything that we are developing from a forensic process perspective and a legal operations perspective, we will share. In, <laughs> open repositories, but 